So I just got a great question from one of the subscribers. Why are my iMovie files so large? Well, there's a few reasons why that may be happening. But before we discuss those and how to fix them, make sure you subscribe. So that's a great question, and we actually get it a lot. There are three main reasons why your movies in iMovie are quite large, and we're going to talk about all three of those. The first one is it depends on the files you've imported. Now, these files are actually in 4K, so they're pretty high-resolution files. We have some audio tracks. We have multiple files. You know, if we add in high-res images, those are all going to contribute to the size of your file. The other thing is the length of your video. Now, we can see this is a relatively short video. It's only 2 minutes and 15 seconds in total. But if it was longer, for instance, it would actually be a much bigger file. But the main thing you need to think about is when you're exporting that file, what that file is being exported as. So if we go here to the file share, and you go file, there are a few settings in here that you're going to have to think about when you actually go and export your movie. Now, one of them is the resolution, right? So you could export this movie as 1080p, 4K, because it was filmed in 4K, 720p, and we can see what happens when we change the setting for each one of those. So for instance, it is currently at 343 megs. Now, if I change it to 4K, you see it went to 500, uh, 851 megs. Now, that is just also at the high resolution. If we change it to the best resolution in 4K, you see it goes to 10 gigs. Now, if we bring that down to 1080p, it's 2.5 gigs and so on. If we went to 720p, you'll see the file gets much smaller. Now, one of the other things you could do is, for instance, you definitely want to, if your movie is filmed in 1080p, that is like your minimum requirement. YouTube needs things in 1080p or they want it at least in 1080p, right? So if you're creating a video for YouTube, you want it to be in 1080p. The other thing you could do is if you do want it smaller, right? Let's say you want it to be a certain size. You could actually hit quality, custom, and you could actually adjust this slider to the size you want. And that's actually going to, as you see this changing, it is actually going to change the size of your file. Now, how I like to export my movies is in 1080p, high resolution. If I am doing 4K, um, you know, I do like to, you know, if I'm going to be displaying in 4K, I will export it as 4K if need be. But those are basically the three things you need to think about. One, the videos you've actually brought into iMovie, how big they are, how many are they are, you know, the amount of audio, the resolution of any photos you may have added in. The next thing is the length of the video. The longer the video, the bigger the file is going to be. But at the end of the day, the thing that is in your control that lets you adjust the size of your video is when you go here to the file share and you're able to change your video settings. So make sure you're exporting your video in at least 1080p at high resolution. That will give you a nice file size. If your file is too big and you need to transfer via like WeTransfer or something like that, where you only get like two gigs and it is a big file, a great solution is using something like this custom area where you could adjust it to a size that, you know, you could actually transfer over the internet. Well, I hope this helped and make sure you give us a like and subscribe for more great tips.